So yesterday, one of my dear sisters in the Lord shared with me a link to an article that was very interesting. 28 girls in Colombia have now been hospitalized after playing with one of the most demonic devices in modern history, the Ouija board. Now, I'll be 38 years old this year, but I do remember back when I was a teenager, back in the mid-90s. There was this, de it was this demonic game. It was very popular amongst middle school kids. Okay, It was called Bloody Mary. Now, I'm not sure if it was Bloody Mary or Candyman because there was two different types of games around this time. But I do believe it was Bloody Mary. A bunch of kids would go into a bathroom, they would close the door, turn off the lights, and they would all look in the mirror and say Bloody Mary three times. And then everyone would run out of the bathroom screaming, right? It was, it was, we thought it was fun. Now, as lighthearted as those games may have seemed to us, everything about it was demonic because we were essentially conjuring spirits. You are summoning the likeness of something that is not of God, and everything contrary to God is satanic. So, what does the Bible have to say about witchcraft? Well, in the Old Testament, anyone that sought to conjure any type of spirit was considered a witch, and they were to be killed. And this was usually through the act of stoning. Okay, And this is found in Exodus 22. So we see that the very act of playing these wicked games brings about the wrath of God. And one of the ways God in his wrath, even in his grace through his wrath, he will allow demons to inflict the ones playing the game. Okay, The article about the 28 girls reveals that things actually happened, Okay, things that may have been supernatural. There is a reason why all 28 of these girls suffered the same symptoms. And it wasn't just because they were scared. We see all throughout the Old Testament that God actively places dark spirits within people as a form of a rebuke or judgment. Okay, And this spirit is not the Holy Spirit. This stuff is real and it's not to be played with. I had an ex-girlfriend who I remember she was telling me this story. Year, I mean, this was years ago. Um, but she was telling me this story about when she had two roommates and they all lived in this old house. And she told me that things would randomly fly off the wall. Like she'd be sitting in the living room watching a movie and something would literally fly off the wall and hit another wall. Okay. Um, and I didn't believe her when she told me this. Uh, but it wasn't until her ex roommates came to visit us one weekend and we were living, we were sitting in the living room. And I remember my girlfriend told one of her roommates to tell me about the old house. And her friends told me the story word for word, like her, their stories matched hers. And that's when I believed her. Now, one of the glorious realities of being a Christian is that Christians cannot be possessed by demons. Okay, But if you are not a Christian and you are playing these games like the Ouija board, something demonic is going to happen to you or around you. Okay, You are not protected or covered. And so when you play these games, the darkness you play them in gives way to the reign of demons. Okay, This is why a lot of times you hear inmates. right? I've heard stories like this. I've read stories about this and where inmates will talk about have having heard voices in their head telling them to murder people okay there was a kid here in milwaukee last year he shot his mom to death this kid was like 10 years old i think with like 10 or 11 years of age and when the detectives questioned him he said that there were voices in his head that would not stop speaking and they were telling him to kill his mom okay things like this happen okay and uh things like ouija boards are things that give place to even darker darkness so do not play with these things who can know it Every person without God is in a dire mental condition. It doesn't mean their rational faculties are not functioning, but it does mean that they are in the kingdom of darkness, right? It does mean that they are under the power of the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now works in the children of disobedience. So we have to understand that anyone who is not a believer is operating in some sense with a demonic influence. It, it may be external, coming at them through the culture, but it, there's something in them, in their corruption, in their fallenness, in their natural perversion that deceives them. The heart is, dis, is desperately wicked, deceitful and desperately wicked.